I'm Miss Corinne, and it's time for tales. <gasps> and it's really cold in here. <laughs> Is that snow? Who set the thermostat in here to snow? <sighs> well, it's okay, because I have a story for you today that takes place somewhere very cold. That story is A Flower in the Snow by Tracy Corduroy and Sophie Alsop. It's about a little girl named Luna and her best friend, a polar bear. Well, Luna and the bear lived where it is very, very cold and there is snow all year round. And they were the best of friends. They had so much fun playing together. They would build snowmen and make snow angels and have snowball fights. One day though, they saw something very unusual poking out of the snow. A beautiful yellow flower. It's a sunshine flower. It's so beautiful. Well, the bear picked the flower for his best friend, Luna, and put it in a vase for her. Wow, it makes me so happy to see this sunshine flower. Thank you, bear. But because the flower had been picked, eventually it wilted and it was no longer bright, beautiful, and sunshiny. And Luna was sad. Bear was so upset to see how sad his friend Luna was. So he decided to set off to find another sunshine flower. He left their cold home and he searched far and wide. He went over mountains and through forests and across rivers and he saw many amazing places and many amazing things but nowhere could he find the same sunshine flower. Oh no, I've really disappointed my best friend Luna. Oh, I have to find a sunshine flower for her. One day, a cold snowflake fluttered down and landed on his nose and it reminded him of his cold, snowy, beautiful homeland and he missed it. And most of all, he missed his best friend, Luna. He decided to go home. He was so disappointed that he couldn't find a sunshine flower for Luna, but he missed her too much. Sure enough, when he got home, Luna wasn't making snowmen or snow angels or snowballs. She was sitting quietly in the snow with her head down. I've really disappointed her. Oh no. Bear went over to Luna and Luna said, oh, Bear, you come back. I've missed you so much. I missed you too, Luna, but I couldn't find another sunshine flower for you anywhere. I'm sorry to make you so sad. Bear, Luna said, I'm not sad because of the sunshine flower. I'm sad because you went away and I missed my best friend. But I have something to show you. She opened her hands and she said, look, see these tiny seeds? They came out of the sunshine flower that you picked for me. I planted one of them and look what happened. Another sunshine flower grew. And I wanted to plant the rest of them so we could have lots of sunshine flowers. But I wanted to wait for you to come home first because things are so much more fun when you do them with your best friend and the people that you love. So Luna and the bear planted those seeds and before long more sunshine flowers grew until the hill that was covered in snow was also covered in beautiful yellow sunshine flowers. And every time a flower died, Luna and the polar bear would gather its seeds and plant some more. The end. Well, I thought 
that we could plant our own flowers. I love flowers, don't you? Well, it might be cold right now, but there is a way that you can plant some flowers so that you have beautiful flowers in the spring. Here's what I've done. I have an egg carton and I put dirt in it. Let's plant some seeds, okay? I have flower seeds, and now I'm going to put two or three seeds in every little hole. to be very near the top of the soil. So I've just barely pushed them down. They also like to be wet so that they can sprout because they get thirsty just like you and I do. But I don't want to drown them. So I'm just going to very gently spray them to make the soil nice and moist. And then I'll cover them with plastic to protect them and keep them warm. I'll put my seeds in a warm sunny spot and hopefully soon we'll have some beautiful flowers of our own. Thank you for coming to hear some stories. I will miss you when you go, but I will see you at our next story time. Until then, I love you so.